What's up everybody? I hope you're doing well. Today I thought it might be fun to dive into the relatively new Squarespace AI feature to see how it can help us with our websites. I know for so many of us it can be so difficult to sit down and like actually make a website and so anything that can help us make it happen is heaven sent. So let's just dive in and see what kind of features Squarespace AI has to offer. All right so here we are we're logged into my Squarespace dashboard and you can see I have two websites one here is my official, actual, legit therapy practice website. This one is kind of a demo website that I use in my course where I teach folks how to DIY their therapist website. Let's use my demo website for now, which keep in mind is a demo website. So there's gonna be sections of it that um, are not filled out correctly. And we'll enter edit mode. I mean, we have a great example here. This is definitely not my actual website because you know this is not an about me section here. So effectively, there's this lightning bolt that's been added in to Squarespace Editor, where if you click on it, it's gonna have some automatic suggestions. Now, depending on where you've clicked or what you've highlighted, it's gonna have different suggestions available in the menu. So this one is asking me if I wanna simplify it, shorten it, etc. And always you can type in whatever you want it to do. But I'm just kind of curious how some of these work. Uh, not that there's a whole lot to simplify here, but let's click simplify and I'll tell it to write it out. It looks the same length. Maybe it changed some of the words. I should have written them out and compared the two. Let's see if we say shorten what it does. Oh, wow. Okay, it definitely shortened it. Ooh, that's a question. If you click on something, can you undo it? There we go, okay, we got the undo button. Oh, let's compare these two then. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Simplify definitely simplified it. Because here this part says, let me be your advocate and show you a kinder, gentler way to treat the most important person in your life. And then if I say simplify, now it says, let me support you and guide you in treating yourself with care and compassion. So it definitely modifies it. And um, I'm curious to see what else it can do for us here. Now there's one tendency that the average therapist has on their website that I'm really curious if Squarespace AI can help us out with is, you know, most therapists use really jargony language on their website, like talking about, you know, their credentials or they're talking about, you know, what theoretical orientation they're using. And there's a time and a place for that, but we also really need to talk just like a human being so that anyone who's reading can understand what we're saying. So let me explore this. I'm gonna hop to a different section of the website and see if it can help me with this. This is just like random text that Squarespace auto-filled in their template, but let me try it with this one. Make this less formal. Oh, <laughs> too much. It all starts with an idea, you know? <laughs> like when you get this crazy itch. Let me go back. If I'm nuanced, can I say, make this slightly less formal? Okay, that helped. If I put the word slightly, it, it modified it so it wasn't too childlike. It all starts with an idea. Maybe you're itching to start your own business or you're, okay. So listen up therapists, if you have your website on Squarespace and you tend to be a little bit jargony in your language, this is a great tool for you. I mean, if this works for you, then you can just write however you naturally write and then ask Squarespace to kind of clean up your writing for you. Now, of course, as is true with any AI generated text, always proofread, make little modifications, tweaks here and there to make sure it really reflects you and you're not just asking AI to write your whole website for you. Let me go back to my dashboard here and I'm gonna go to my actual website. One of the reasons why I wanted to go to my actual therapy website is I wanted some more kind of realistic content to try this out with. So for example, here I have this bullet point list of like, you may be here if you have gone through these different kind of challenging things. Um, and I wanna see what happens if I invite Squarespace AI to lengthen this bullet point list. I'm not sure if it'll add more bullets or just more details, but let's give it a try. Oh, interesting. Okay, that took it in a different direction than I intended, and that's definitely not what I wanna keep. What if instead I said, could you add more items to this list? Okay, well, it definitely added items. Let me see how I feel about them. Okay, struggle with guilt or shame due to the conflict between your faith and your sexual orientation. I mean, some of the, yeah, experience confusion and doubt about the intersection of your faith and your authentic self experience discrimination or hostility from religious communities. Yes, I mean, these are my clients. Uh, feel isolated and lonely in your faith journey due to a lack of understanding and acceptance from your religious community. 
I mean, some of these feel a little bit redundant, but it's definitely on point here. Like this isn't off track from where we wanna go. I mean, I love this. Would I recommend having a bullet point list this giant on your page of, <clears throat> you know, here's some of the reasons why you might be looking for therapy? Not at all. I think it's nice to have a short list. However, one thing I really like about this is I could kind of pick and choose and say, okay, I really like this one and I really like this one over here. And so I'm going to delete the fluff. And then for the ones that I like, I'll kind of modify the text to sound a little bit more like me. And that's my page. It can kind of help you generate more ideas and then you can cull through it to really see what fits and delete the stuff that you don't want to keep. And the other piece I'm curious about is to see what it can do with the blog post. Because honestly, blogging is one of the most effective ways that you can go about increasing your SEO, yet blogging is so terrifying for so many of us, understandably. So anything that we can do to help potential clients get to know us a little better, find some free resources through our blog, and also to boost our SEO is a win. So this is a blog post that I already created a while back. It's published on my page, but I'm curious, like if I scroll to the bottom and just said something like, oh, I have to click edit first, that helps. Scroll to the bottom and said something like, could you expand on this blog post? It, whoa, yeah, that's a lot of stuff. It put a title here, so I'm wondering if it thought I was asking it to write another blog post or a follow-up blog post maybe. Now you can see clearly this formatting is not friendly at all, but you can just go ahead and fix that up. Like if we make some spaces here and we could turn this into a header if we wanted to, you know, do that sort of thing to clean it up. It, you could take it in so many different directions. What if we said something like, come up with similar blog topics. Oh, interesting. It looks like it just came up with a blog topic and went ahead and kind of wrote or outlined the blog for me. So, you know, you kind of have to play with these things because I was hoping it would give me like a bullet point list of different blog topics and instead it just gave me another blog idea and then wrote it for me. And this isn't quite so related to what I was talking about, navigating grief versus the topic of this is when should you seek counseling? I mean, obviously they're related in the psychology field, but you know, there's other reasons why people seek counseling. You can play with it though and see if it can help you. Whatever areas you find yourself getting stuck in creating your website, maybe this can help you out. I am building this on Squarespace. Squarespace is what I teach on for my website course where I teach you how to DIY your therapist website. So I've linked to that course below if you're interested. It's not sponsored by Squarespace, but if you do sign up through my affiliate link, I do earn a commission for anyone who ends up signing up for Squarespace there. So I've linked to that below as well. And before before we close, I'd like to thank therapynotes.com for sponsoring this video. Therapy Notes helps with all of your practice management needs from scheduling to notes to billing and so much more. If you'd like to check out Therapy Notes, you can get two months to try it for free with no commitment just by clicking the link in the description of this video. Well, I think this video is kind of short and sweet. I just wanted to show you that this is there. I hope this inspires you to check out a little bit more AI and Squarespace. And until next time, from one therapist to another, I wish you well.